Today we're checking out the 10 AI tools that blew up on There's an AI for That in the month of October. These are the ones that everybody's talking about right now, and they range from crazy creative AI tools up to insane productivity boosters. So if you love discovering what's hot in the AI world right now, you're gonna wanna stick around till the end of this video. Let's get started. The first tool on our list is Image Editor Online. This is basically a full feature image editing studio. It is powered by AI, and it's right in your browser. You don't need any kind of heavy software to install. You don't need to put anything on your laptop and there's no learning curve. This tool lets you retouch, manipulate, and generate visuals effortlessly. And you can use AI to help you with a lot of things such as cleaning your background, enhance the details. You can even create entirely new elements. So if you're working with visuals and you want speed and power, this is the tool that you want to start with. This is how it looks like. Here's a place where you can change the models. They have Nano Banana, Sea Dream, Flux, GPT Image, Quen, Step 1X, and Ideogram. It's basically a wrapper that uses all of these models in one single place. So if you want something that's specific to a certain model, you don't have to go to their website. You can just use this tool. This is what AI filter can do. If you have a picture and you don't like your pose, you can change it. You can change your hairstyle. You can turn yourself into an action figure. You can change facial features. You can remove back backgrounds from photos, you can change the weather, extract products from pictures, switch the clothing, generate different products in similar styles, remove objects that you don't want in the frame. You can have realistic conversions of yourself into any style that you'd like. Let's take this picture of the garlic juice girl, give it a simple natural language prompt, remove the glass from her hand and make that hand lay on the table, click generate, and there you go. It works really well, you're not gonna get six fingers, you're not gonna get weird poses, everything looks very natural. You can also upload multiple pictures, give it a natural language prompt such as make the girl ride the horse, click generate, and there you go, seamless. The girl is riding the horse. Everything looks perfect. You can also upload a picture of yourself and say something like turn me into an action figure, and there you go, it was as easy as one, two, three, and it took like 10 seconds. If you wanna edit this picture, all you have to do is click on continue edit and say what do you want edited, such as put a beer bottle in my hand, generate, and there you go, beer bottle. There are countless ways you can play with this, so make sure to check it out and drop a comment below telling me what crazy thing did you manage to create with this tool. Meet Paraflow, an AI assistant that's built for product design and development. All you have to do is feed it your abstract concept or even if you have just a sketch of your product in your notebook and this tool will give you all of the well-defined detailed product requirement specifications that you need for your product. And on top of that, this tool gives you everything you need to push toward development. It basically bridges the gap between your idea and execution so you don't get stuck in the same purgatory that we've all been to. This is how their homepage looks like. You can import a design that you already have or you can start a new project. Let's click on new project. So we have four areas, global context, feature plan, style guide, and screen and prototype. Let's click on global context. You can use natural language to say what you want to build. Let's just do fitness app with macro tracker. Let's click send. I'll help you create a fitness app with macro tracking functionally. Let me first assess the current project structure and then plan the comprehensive design approach. It's going to generate a to-do list of seven steps. So now we have the product charter, which gives us the product positioning, brand keywords, core problem, goals and mission, solutions that we own, and then another file gives us the user persona, which is basically the average person that would use this app. Then it moves on to the feature plan, which gives us the background of the people that are going to use the app, objectives and desired outcomes, users, stories, key features, the key flow. Then it generated the user flow, which looks something like this. We have the navigation container with the dashboard progress and profile. The dashboard has the macro breakdown. Then you have the food log which has the barcode scanner, food search, food details, and meal history. Then we have some settings for goals, weekly reports, macro trends, body composition, so on and so forth. And now it's taken each and every one of these shapes and it will start building a file for each of them. So we have the global context, we have the feature plan, and now it's generating the style aesthetic. And as you can see right here, the style guide and screen prototypes are still empty. So far, it's been 4 minutes and 46 seconds. There you go, we have a style guide. It's been 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Looks something like this. They also generated a dark mode and a light mode, which is pretty cool. This is how the dashboard will look like. You can log your food here, you can scan foods here, you can add quick meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, insights, progress, profile, today's macros. And there you go, guys. In real time, this took around nine minutes. And now you have anything you need to launch your dream app. In reality, if I want to be honest with myself, this would have taken me months of my time because I would slack. I would waste a lot of time on these. And now that I have these in front of me, I can just do some iterations and revisions and I will have the final version quicker than you can say tool number three. Our next tool is called Promptist AI. It is a prompt crafting, prompt optimizing, prompt management hub based 
basically. And if you're working with ChatGPT, Gemini, or, or any other LLM, and you really wanna get the most out of them, this tool can help you generate optimized prompts. You can manage prompt variations, you can store your best prompts, and streamline your workflow so that the AI delivers exactly what you need. This is how their homepage looks like, pretty clean and to the point. Now there's something that I wanna underline from their website. This is a very important lesson. Why writing a good prompt is difficult. Writing a good prompt is not easy, requires a lot of experience and knowledge. Prompting is the way you're speaking with the LLM so that it understands you. I want to lose weight. What should I eat? It will give us this non-specific answer. Or you can just come to Promptist and say, I want to lose weight. Give me a prompt to help me understand how can I lose weight the best way possible and ask me questions about my weight, height, lifestyle so that the response is tailored to myself. It is going to generate a pretty complicated prompt and I can assure you that it would be pretty hard to generate something like this without the help of a tool such as Promptist. Copy this, paste it into ChatGPT, hit enter, and the result is going to be wildly different as you can see right here. It's asking me about my weight, height, my age, my sex. What is my weight goal? And you can basically build prompts for anything that you can imagine. Let's do something else. You can just give it a natural language prompt such as, I wanna change the heating unit in my house. Click generate and it will give you a prompt based on this specific request. Look at this prompt guys. This is amazing and it's wildly different compared to what you would get if you would not use such a prompt. Here's Chat Odyssey's AI phone number. It's a fun twist on conversational AI that is built in order to have phone-based user interactions with other people that are calling it. Think of it as your AI assistant that can handle SMS and voice-based chat flows and it can basically drive authentic conversations with other users. It can gather leads for you, it can answer queries and all of that is happening through a familiar phone interface. This is how it looks like. Let's create a phone number. You're gonna get your very own phone interface. You're gonna have a list of contacts. You can select the country to get a phone number. Let's say United States. Let's do a random number. Hello, this is Chat Odyssey I. My name is Astra. I am here to demonstrate that I can personalize to any use case so you never need to answer the phone ever again. Hey Astra, how's it going? Hello, this is Astra, your AI phone agent from Chat Odyssey. Thanks for calling. Are you looking for a phone number for personal use or for a business? For personal use. With Chat Odyssey, you get your own number that works just like a normal phone line. You can call or text anyone and if you'd like... I can answer calls or messages for you when you're busy. It's perfect for dating privacy, online shopping, side projects, or if you've simply had enough of answering every call. Would you like me to text you the link to get started with your own number for $7.99 a month? Yeah, please do that. Pretty. I'll send you a text with the link to get started. You'll be all set up with your own private number in no time. Have a great day. And that's how it sounds like. You can set up your very own AI assistant and you can train it on your specific data sets. Next up, we have Senseless. Yes, that is their name. There are that many asses. This tool is made by Daisy and it's a very creative generative AI tool that is designed to break conventions and help you generate content visuals or even weird experimental outputs and you're guaranteed to spark inspiration. Now, if you're stuck and you're praying to get that wow moment, this tool is here for you. So it looks like this. We have these uh, funny looking outfits and if you scroll down, you're gonna find multiple outfits. You can click on each and every one of these items. So let's upload a photo of myself wearing these clothes and let's click generate look. And based on the outfit that I have in this picture, it generated multiple pictures of myself wearing that outfit and a pretty cool description. Lightweight aqua short sleeve button up texture. And now that there are some pictures of myself wearing this outfit, I can just click try on on either of the outfits that you find on the website and it will apply that outfit onto your persona. And there you go, it's still myself. This is me, scroll down, <laughs> you're gonna see, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna see myself. <laughs> You're gonna see myself wearing these outfits. Okay, how can I buy this? Next up, we have Notch. Notch is an AI-driven tool that's primarily designed for the creation and optimization of digital ads. It leverages AI technologies in order to create animated ads, and it lets you basically convert static content into motion, because we all know that video ads work better than just image ads. This tool has an amazing creative brain that allows you to construct a comprehensible model of your entire brand only from the available data that you have. This is how it looks like. Pretty cool website, I gotta say. Now, first things first, let's add a product or a service. You can animate any picture. Let's upload a picture of the garlic juice. 
they give us an AI recommendation for the prompt. Let's click animate. Let's see our animated ad. Okay, so it basically made it fizzy. It looks pretty cool. It's just a slight touch to the image, but I'm sure you can do a lot more with it. The whole theory behind it is that video ads always work better than image ads if done correctly. Let's try to put our website here, taft.com. This is how an ad would look like with them. Over 60 million users. Find a perfect AI tool for any task. 42,000 AI tools. Okay, so it basically took information from our website and they made it into like a ready to use template for ads. This is another example of an ad. This is another one. You can also click on clone a competitor, input the link of your competitor's ads, and it will generate ads that are similar to your competitor's ads. I wouldn't necessarily encourage this, but it's a tool that I would use in order to see what works for my competitors. Maybe they are one step ahead and you definitely wanna learn from that. Muho AI is an AI assistant for e-commerce product listings. All you need to do is upload your product photos and Muho will instantly transform them into professional eye-catching creatives that are ready to be used on your store or ad campaigns. It understands exactly what your product is for, it knows who your audience is, and then it will generate visuals that will fit your brand basically. The purpose of this tool is to boost your conversions, of course, and one of the biggest advantages is that you don't need a designer, you only need a smart tool just like this one, and your entire marketing effort will be seamless. This is how their website looks like. It's a pretty nice website, it's very interactive, look at this. This is how you can transform your listings, and if you keep scrolling here, it's gonna show you the way this tool works. Pretty cool, right? Let's actually check it out. Let's sign in, let's click on projects. Let's click start with AI. It's asking us to drag and drop a file to get started. I've created this picture with Gemini really fast. Let's download it. Let's drag and drop our picture here. So it already selected the product, vitamin C serum in a dropper bottle. Yes, this is correct so far. Let's click continue. Category, it automatically selected skincare. Let's go with Aurora. This is what Gemini came up with. Product specifications, we don't really need those right now. Let's click continue. So where do we wanna sell it? Let's sell it on a Shopify store. Let's click continue. Gender, let's say it's for females, adults, and maybe even young adults. Mix ethnicity, continue. So what features does it have? Reduces wrinkles, boosts collagen, antioxidant protection, and soothes irritation. Let's click continue and let's select a custom style. Let's click surprise me. Hit generate, let's see. Estimated time left, 40 seconds. I mean, if you can generate creatives and, and pictures for your product page in less than 40 seconds, let's put 10 minutes. That'll be amazing. Because I remember when I had my own e-commerce store, this used to take ages. I used to do the product research, test all kinds of different creatives, and all that was really time consuming. Let's see, first one. Okay, looks pretty cool. Advanced skincare solutions. Wow, I, I love the way this looks. It's really nice. Okay, they got me. I did the same thing with the garlic juice bottle just, just for the sake of it. And it, it looks pretty decent, I gotta say. They have AI UGC actors. They have these really nice ads. I mean, look at this. If I saw an ad that looks like this, I would definitely buy it. Garlic juice commitment. <laughs> okay. Mistral AI Studio. It's a platform that's built to make working with AI very simple, reliable, and secure at the same time. Starting from your idea up until full deployment. So it pretty much brings together everything your team needs. AI models, tools, infrastructure, and even a deep observability into how your agents and systems behave in real time. An amazing thing about Mistral AI Studio is the fact that privacy is built from the get-go. And it doesn't matter how you deploy. You can do that privately, in a dedicated setup, or even completely self-hosted. No matter how you do it, you will always keep full ownership of your data. Now, the goal here is to make your AI work repeatable, transparent, and efficient. So instead of scattering your tools all around and having 20 different places that you need to go to when you're working on something, here everything lives in one single place. You have full lineage, full version control, and full traceability. And Mistral AI Studio goes beyond the usual metrics. It focuses on what they call behavioral KPIs and also statistical signals. And these are two important things that really show how your AI is performing. You can easily adapt models to your specific needs while keeping your reliability and stability. It also connects directly to enterprise data sources so all of the models that you use here can get information from the outside and also take action safely. Other great features of Mistral's AI Studio include generating datasets from real traffic and feedback. It can automatically evaluate outputs. You can have your very own scoring models and you can have a deep visibility into every single request and response. 
And of course, you're gonna get strong data ownership, so you can always trust the way your AI is operating. In short, Mistral AI Studio brings everything about AI. It doesn't matter if that's models, data, agents, or insights. It brings them all together in one single unified, secured, and intelligent environment. If our last tool helped you with optimizing your AI workflows, the next one will help you replicate any tool out there. JustCopy.ai is a platform designed to help developers reproduce tools that are already existing on the market, and they can do that very quickly and efficiently. So rather than building something from scratch or just relying on AI-driven prompting, if you use JustCopy.ai, you can basically clone apps that have been battle-tested by big companies and by big companies, I mean, yeah, Stripe, Airbnb, Netflix. It pretty much aims to eliminate unproductive time that's spent on vibe coding, and it basically allows you to copy other concepts. Their website looks something like this. It's very simple, very short. Let's sign in. Describe what you want to build, and our AI will create it for you. I want you to build me a clone of Netflix. Start building, begin development. Okay, so it already started working on my app. So far, it's pretty similar to vibe coding. It's just doing everything by itself. Okay, so while it's working, it asks me some questions. First of all, what is the name of the app that you want to build? Let's write the word Netflix, but turn around, which is Xilf10. Let's hit enter. What is the primary goal of this project? Allow users to watch content on my platform. And it goes on and on and on. I think that the advantage of JustCopy.ai is the fact that instead of being a normal vibe coding tool where you're just telling it what you want to build, you can give it other tools as an example, just like I did with Netflix. And it would copy Netflix's structure so that you can have a tool that's similar to Netflix, but mold it into whatever you want. Of course, it would still need coding knowledge and you would still need to change some things here and there. But overall, as an idea, it's pretty interesting. The final AI tool of of this list will act as your second brain. Liminary is an AI native knowledge management tool that serves as an enhanced memory in order to help its users maintain the flow of their work. You see, in the past, users would have to shift through a heap of stored knowledge. And it doesn't matter if it's files, notes, bookmarks, meetings, whatever. And in order to find any kind of piece of information that you need for you to do your work, you had to scroll through 20 different websites. Now, what Liminary does, it will automatically bring forward all of the the saved knowledge that it knows about you. All of that knowledge is related to your current work context, and that's why it's making information recall very quick and effortless. They have a lot of amazing features, but one of the main ones is, first of all, one-click capture of all types of content formats in one single place. Second of all, it has a self-organizing knowledge base. Third of all, automatically connections between similar ideas. Fourth of all, it has an amazing ability to chat with your collected knowledge in order to deepen your insights. And last but not least, they have a Chrome extension that you can install right when you're onboarding. This makes everything seamless and you just have to activate the extension and it will remember anything and everything you do in order to bring it up in the future when you might need it. So guys, these were the top AI tools that were making huge waves on the month of October on There's an AI for That. Let me know which one you tried and which one impressed you the most. Don't forget to check out There's an AI for That. The link is in the description. The biggest website for AI tools in the world with more than 40,000 AI tools listed. And while you're at it, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. It's also also the biggest AI newsletter in the world with more than 2 million daily readers. Thank you for watching guys, have an amazing day and as always, until next time.